Hackettstown is located at the east edge of Warren County, New Jersey. The town welcomes anyone and everyone and has had a growing community for decades. Events like Oktoberfest, Mayfest, and holiday parades invite people from all over the tri-state area and have been bringing attention to the town that has never been seen before. These events are made possible by the dedicated and hard-working community of Hackettstown. My name is Jerry DeMeo. I'm the mayor of the town of Hackettstown. Community is a, I would define it as a group of individuals, all ages, that are together for the better of, in our case, our town. We want to see it succeed with our businesses, with our schools, with everything that possibly can go good with our town. We want to see our com community involved so it succeeds. I am Lori Rapasardi. I am the executive director of the Hackettstown Business Improvement District. The purpose of the bid is to help our new businesses as well as our businesses that have been around for 15 more years. We hold events and host many events throughout the year. Some are very small, some are very large. And our goal is to make sure that our businesses continue to thrive. They have customers coming into town. We try to create new things for uh, educational purposes for those businesses. And we also are responsible for bringing new businesses into town. The events bring a lot of people from out of town. And not only do they often buy and eat and drink locally that day, but they come back because they realize that it's a fun place to hang out. My name is Kathy Hominick, and I own Me To You Boutique on Main Street in Hackettstown. And it's really exciting to see how dedicated the business owners are to the businesses and the community. The girl that owns Aries Moon, she had an idea that we can have an ugly sweater party and invited several businesses that are close to each other to participate. And, you know, out it went on social media, and it was a huge hit. My name is Deborah DeFazio, and I am the owner of Weird Lily. So many people who came out to participate, it really warmed my heart. I thought, this is really lovely that people are so supportive. My name is Joe Fisher, owner and brewmaster at Manskirt Brewing. The community events bring a lot of new people to town, people who are looking to have experiences in town, things that they can only do in Hackett's town, and uh, bringing their business and their money here to us. It's been fantastic. Terry Rince, I'm a doctor of acupuncture and Chinese medicine. Our town is unique. We have a downtown district. We have walkability. We have all the things that you might have in a, in a large town, but um, with that small town feel, and that's what makes it so nice. My name is Jordan Ferrara and I'm one of the owners. When you're growing up in the town you kind of think this town's so lame, can't wait to get out and as you get older you just realize it really is just a great town. It's a great place to raise a family. It does have so much to offer. It feels safe and um, it feels like you can go to New York in an hour, you can go to Pennsylvania in an hour, like everything's at your fingertips. I mean, I have only been here for a little over a year, so it's I haven't been here super long, but so far I've noticed that everyone is, it's a really nice community. Um, it seems pretty close-knit. The longer we're here, the more kind of people start to reach out and we connect. My name is Dallas Wooten. Um, I'm a full-time potter and I'm the owner of Wooten Clayworks. All the businesses have been super friendly. You know, I walked into uh, Harper's Bakery right over there the other day and she just gave me a free donut. I was like, welcome to the neighborhood. And I was like, I can get behind a free donut. So, <laughs> My name is Sabina Nitzel and my business is Dogs Delicious. Mm -hmm. I feel so blessed. I've been in town for so long and I still have my very first customers from 16 years ago that now have second and third generation dogs, so, which, which is amazing because I don't have to advertise, I don't even have a website at this point, and I know this is to you probably like, what? I don't do anything, it's word of mouth, and like I said, I have my customers from 16 years ago, and it's a beautiful thing. And I'm the owner of Mama's Restaurant, Cafe Banchi, and multiple other businesses. The community in Hackenstown is truly um, one that unifies if there's an issue. I think the most important thing about Hackenstown's community is the diversity and the inclusivity. Everybody feels welcome here. Uh, it's a place where everybody can feel comfortable eating and hanging out. I have noticed the community getting uh, a little younger, more vibrant, more interesting, and the shops 
and businesses that we've seen opening really reflect that. My name is Bruno Pascal and I'm the chef owner of Marley's Captain Grill here in Hackenstown, New Jersey. It's becoming a great town for restaurants and businesses and more and more moving in as they see it grow and grow and I think that the town is just getting better. It's the next, you know, great town to be in. My name is Michael Gensalaya. I am the owner and CEO of Real Time Fitness. It's very homey. It's uh, definitely grown over the years, but like a lot of people have came into this community even more than before. We try to bring in people from the outside in because we want everyone to grow. Like if every little small uh, business in this community has somehow helps each other out, it only brings more people back. So. We have so many amenities in such a small town. We've got a medical center, we've got a university, and it was just the perfect place. The biggest thing is communication and just getting to know your neighbors and getting together and be one big family. Uh, Kyle from Kalani's Pickles. We make pickles here, <laughs> buying all the resources locally, you know, as local as we can from local farms. We work with both the local breweries in the area and the restaurants and bars. Uh, the bars carry my product. The restaurants will deliver their food right to our doors, and we have a very close working relationship with the other breweries in the area as well. All you need is one or two people to, to, to basically um, find you, then uh, it benefits uh, forever. There is a friendship between the business owners that you can only find on a main street like this. Our businesses all really work well together, and I just can't wait to see who does something next and see what kind of collaboration will happen.